G'day legends, welcome to Tech Math. I'm Josh. By the end of this video, you'll be able to work out multiplication problems just like these ones right here in your head. And I reckon you'll be able to do them in under four seconds. Let me know in the comments how you go with this. This trick is the third in a series looking at instant mental math, where truly nobody's even going to question your genius anymore. There is a link in the description that has a playlist for these videos. So let's have a look at an example of this particular trick. We'll start with this one here, 23 multiplied by 24. Something nice and easy to start off with. Now this particular trick, what you're going to notice about both of these numbers we're multiplying is they both start with the same tens value. In this case, they're both numbers in their 20s. For this trick to work, it's important for that to happen. So the way this trick works is as follows. The first thing we do is we look at the units here. We have for 23, 3 for the units, and for 24, we have 4. The first thing we do to get the first part of our answer is we add either 3 to 24 or 4 to 23. And when we do that, we get the following. 3 plus 24 is equal to 27. Now what we do is we multiply it by this tens value right here. Either one. So 27 multiplied by 2 is 54. Now this is the tens part of our answer, so we multiply this by 10. 54 becomes 540. To this we add, pretty simple, we multiply 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and we add those together, we will have our answer. 540 plus 12, we have the answer of 552. Hey, pretty simple, right? Nice and easy fast trick. Like I said, you should be able to do this in under four seconds, maybe five seconds for you. Okay, by the way, if you like this trick, remember, hit the like button and subscribe. So those steps once again. First thing, this works for numbers that have the same tens value, like we have the 20s here. We look at the units, and then we have either 23 plus four or 24 plus three, which equals 27, and now multiply it by that tens value. 27 multiplied by two is 54, make that a tens, 540, and then we just multiply those two units together, three times four, we add that on, we've got our answer. Seems like a few steps, don't worry, we'll go through a few examples, and I'll tell you what, I wanna see how fast you're gonna be doing these. So we'll look at those examples that I showed you at the start of this video. We had 33 multiplied by 39, 74 multiplied by 78, 58 multiplied by 52, and 108 multiplied by 112. Now, you might even notice on one of these, there is another trick you can use that we looked at in a previous video. I'll show you that as we come along. So, what about you pause these and give this a go? Let me know. All right, so what about I run through these answers now? So, we have 33 multiplied by 39, both numbers in their 30s. The units are 3 and 9, respectively. So, the first step 33 plus 9 or 39 plus 3, the same answer is going to give us 42 and we multiply this by three. So we multiply 42 by three, we get the answer of 126. As I said before, this is a tens number, so put a zero on the end of that, let's keep moving. To this we're going to add, well, three times nine, three times nine is equal to 27. We add these together and we get our answer. We have 1,287. Is that what you got? Well, it's the correct answer. How fast did you do that in? Well, let's have a look at the next one. We have 74 multiplied by 78. Once again, numbers now in their 70s. So, we have the units of 4 and 8 respectively. 74 plus 8 is equal to 82. Okay, 82 now multiplied by 7, or 7 eighths of 56. And we've got 14, so we have 574. This is a tens number, we put a zero on the end. To this, we're going to add, well, 4 times 8 is 32. All right, you get this nice, simple answer of 5,772. All right, did you go? Did you get 2 for 2 so far? I hope so. So to the third example, we have 58 multiplied by 52. Now, what you might notice here, if you've really been watching those other videos that I've been making on this, is that there is a trick we can use for this where you can work this out instantly. So check out the link in the description you'll be looking at video number one. But I'm gonna go through right now how you'll work it out using this particular technique. So we have the units of eight and two. So first off, we have 58 plus two, this is equal to 60. Hey, nice and easy, right? 60 multiplied by five here is 300. This is a 
tens number, so it's going to become 3,000. And to this we're going to add, well, we have 8 times 2, which is 16. Well, this answer is probably the easiest all so far. This is 3,016. So you definitely should have been able to do that one in under 4 seconds. Yeah? So to the last example, we have 108 multiplied by 112. Now you're going to notice here, straight away, we've moved into some really big numbers. We're in the hundreds. And the tens numbers are not the same. We can make a bit of an adjustment. What we do is we're going to use the units of 8 for 108 and 12 for 112. And we're going to be using the tens value of 10. Yep, yeah, 10 tens are 100. Let's just do the same thing here. So 108 plus 12 is going to be 120. So 120 times 10 is 1,200. And this is a tens number that becomes 12,000. To that, we're going to add, well, 8 times 12, which is 96. So we add these together, we get our answer of 12,096. Anyway, that is the trick on how to multiply numbers that start with the same tens. Well, like I said, about four or five seconds. But like I said, let me know in the comments how you went with this. How fast are you doing it? Maybe go through a few more examples. Let me know how you go. So if you wish to know more of these math tricks that we've done so far, or even new ones that are coming along, if you are in the future and I've already put those videos up, check out the link in the description. There is a playlist. Big shout out to my patrons. If you want to support the Tech Math channel, also check out a link in the description. There you go. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time with the next math trick.